Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In previous video, we have created a list employee component to display a list of employees on a web page. Now in this video, what we'll do, we'll make a REST API call and we'll populate a data on a web page. So in order to make a call, to the REST API in React application, we have to use third-party HTTP library. For example, we are going to use Axios HTTP library in our video tutorial series, but you can use browser fetch API to make a REST API call. So there are plenty of HTTP library, uh, you know, are there uh, out there, but uh, uh, Axios HTTP library is popular and it provides a very uh, you know flexible APIs to work with uh, you know HTTP calls so I'm going to use Axios HTTP library to make our HTTP call so what we'll do we'll install Axios library in our react application and we'll write a rest client code to call our HTTP let's go ahead and let's add Axios HTTP library in our react application go to the integrated terminal and just type the command npm install axios and then hyphen hyphen save so make sure that you have add hyphen hyphen save at the end so this will add a entry in package.json hit enter so this will take a couple second to install axios library in our react application All right. Now you can see the command completes, and if you open uh, package.json file, and you can able to see a new entry added with Axios and its version. Okay, great. Now we have successfully installed Axios library in our React application. Now we are going to create a separate service class which will invoke a REST API. For that, go to the src folder. Within the src folder, let's create one more folder. Let's call it as services. And within a service folder, let's create a file. Let's name it as employee service.js. So look at here the extension .js. We are not going to write any JSX code inside this file, so we can ignore JSX here. So just give extension.js so inside this javascript file we are going to create a javascript class let's name it as employee service okay and in previous videos at the back end we have created a rest api and we have tested using postman rest client right so this is the url which will get a list of employees from the REST API so if you hit send button you can see here we got a list of employees as a array in a response okay okay go back to the VS code let's import Axios library inside this JavaScript file import Axios from Axios and let's define a REST, a REST endpoint URL over here so look at here this is our base rest api url localhost 8080 api slash v1 slash employees let's create a method get employees and this method returns a response of get method okay so axios basically provides a get method let's call get and here we pass a base url okay so we are simply returning a response of get method and now what we'll do we'll simply export this class object export default new and the employee 
so this is the important notice here we are not going to export a class in fact we are going to export object of this class so we can directly use object of this class inside a component all right we have successfully uh, you know written a rest client code using axios to make a rest api call now what we'll do we'll use employee service uh, object in a component let's go back to the list employee component here and here just type component did mount method so look at here component did amount method is called immediately after a com component is mounted so this is the best place to call a rest api so whenever you want to make a ajax calls or rest api calls always use component did amount because this method will get immediately called after a component is mounted so inside this method we are going to use employee service dot get employee so this method returns promise so let's use then method okay and it has a response so here just set a response to the employees array so in order to set a data to the state of the component we are going to use set state method set state inside a curly and close braces just uh, use employees and response dot data already guys we have successfully you know uh, stored a response data into your employees array now save the file and go back to the browser and let us see the data is populated on a page or not let's open our developer tools in chrome browser and let us see the network tab I refresh and here go to the console and you can able to see here we got course policy issue so in order to avoid this issue what we will do we will add add cross annotation on top of employee controller in spring boot application go back to the spring boot project open employee controller and here what we'll do we'll add a annotation called cross origin annotation and it has origin attributes and save the controller and the spring boot project is restarted now let us see let's go to the browser and let's refresh the url and here we go we have successfully got a response of a rest api and the same response is populated on a page all right guys thank you guys for watching feel free to subscribe my youtube channel i will see you guys in the next video